It's me, Lady Simone. If you don't know, now you know. It's Lady Simone. It's Lady Simone. This video is going to be 10 signs. Ten. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, but 10. 10 signs that he is a boy. Dealing with my previous experiences, I obviously suck at picking me. And so, these are just some things that I have gathered to determine whether or not he's a boy. Number one, sign that he's a boy. Always wants to call or text you after 9 p.m. These are boy times, okay? These are boy times, okay? You know, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Even six. I've even been texted at six o'clock. No man who has respect for a woman that actually wants to get to know a woman is gonna text her after 9 p.m. He gonna try to get to her and talk to her earlier throughout the day because you know he respects her. He knows that she's busy and she he knows she gotta go to sleep. My mama always said after 9 p.m. ain't nothing open but legs. Number two, that he is a boy all he talks about is sex you can't have a conversation with him because all he has on his little bit of mind is sex because all the little blood don't rush from his little brain down to his little pee pee and all he's thinking about is sex all he's doing is sending you dick pictures and videos on snapchat and all he thinking about is sticking it in your mouth and sticking it in your vajayjay so what he talking about doing that's all he get excited about talking about even when you try to have a conversation with him he just he don't even text you back or he texts you when he wants to text you and it's always starting off with a dick pic you know Things of that nature, okay? You can't have a conversation because that's all they want to talk about. Number three, number three, that he's a boy. Never is around you. He's always on his phone. This is supposed to be you in his time, you know what I'm saying? It's not cool for him to always be on his phone, checking his phone, liking all these little thotty pictures and all this stuff like this. And on top of that, he real protective over his phone. Protective over his phone. If y'all supposed to be talking and all that stuff like that, why are you protective over your phone? Am I not the only one that you're talking to? Number four. The fourth sign that he's no good for you, honey. He don't never take you out on dates, honey. He don't never do none of that. He don't never ask to go out on dates with him. He don't never text you and be like, babe, get dressed. I'm taking you out. And if he do, it's always the McDonald's. McDonald's is a death sentence. Anybody who eats McDonald's, you want to die. You really do. I hate McDonald's. You always want to take it to the movies. Don't never want to wine and dine. You take it to a nice restaurant. Never a real date. He never want to tell you, you know, put on your nice sexy little red or black dress. You know, get cute, put on your makeup, put on your fancy beauty and stuff. You don't ever want to take you out nowhere. If his, you know, definition of going out is Netflix and chilling, he is a boy, okay? That's only for couples, okay? Number five, that he's a boy. He doesn't have any goals. He don't have no goals, he don't have no ambitions, you know, all he thinking about is getting money, all he want to do is flash his little money on the dang on Instagram, all he want to do is wear Gucci this and Prada this and all that this, and he just want to be in the limelight, he real stagnant, he ain't got no ambitions, he ain't talking about going to college, he ain't talking about building a nice house, he ain't talking about doing none of that, he just, he don't have nothing, he just, he just fine with being complacent. That's number five. The sixth sign that he's a... Boy, he's always going out to parties. Why can't you stay up at home? You always going to parties. You always in a club. You always in the, on the phone, just doing like this. If I hit it one time, I'm a piper. I don't want to see that 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 shiznits. Ain't no man of substance. It's gonna be out partying all the time. You know, it's, it's okay to go out every now and then, but when you out every weekend, what's really good? Number seven, that he's a boy. He claims that he don't want a relationship. He don't want nothing serious. We just talking right now. But he like shoe, huh? So basically you mean to tell me that you want, you don't want to claim me. You don't want to post me as your woman crush Wednesday. You don't want me to talk to nobody else. But you ain't ready for no relationship. But you only like me. I'm the only one you talking to. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're really boy, okay? Because that's a mental illness type of shiznayas. You want this girl to be loyal to you, but you ain't loyal to her. You want to keep doing what you want to do, and you want to talk to whoever you want to talk to, but the moment that she starts doing what she doing, then, she, you know, she start playing your game, you got an issue with That's a sign of a boy and mental illness. Please get help for that. Number eight, and I don't care who feelings are hurt. If he's in the army, he's a boy. If he is in the army and he good looking, he a boy even the ones that ain't good looking are boys okay i'm just saying i'm just being honest okay i got a lot of army men in my family and i know they all house that hoism runs strong in my family it does 
Number nine. That he's a boy. He never apologizes for the that he do. He never apologizes for his actions. You know, he makes you think that you're crazy. You don't know you're crazy. You're crazy in the head. You don't know your woman's intuition is broken. He makes you believe that you're the crazy one and you're not the crazy one. You know, you put him in his place. You let him know that I'm not with the shiz naive, and he calls you crazy. You know, I be called crazy a lot because I don't tolerate the foolishness. I tolerated the foolishness in my last relationship. That's because I loved him. But he never apologized for his actions until I really like put my foot in his <laughs> He never apologized for the shiz naive that he did because he didn't think that anything he was doing was wrong. That's a sign of a Boy, okay? Real oh, men, they assess the situation and they apologize. Be all okay if you just apologize. Still some 35 year old boys out here, honey. They need to grow up. Number 10, if he tells you, I ain't like them other dudes, I ain't gonna treat you like this. How do you feel the need to list out your qualifications before we even talk? Real men, they just show you, they don't tell you. Okay. I ain't like these other dudes. Ain't gonna treat you like this. I'm gonna treat you right. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna do. It's a whole bunch of jibber jabber. Okay. Real men don't talk. They make. They make it happen. Real men. Real men. They handle they shit's naive before you have to handle your shit's naive. Have you uh, assessed everything that I've said today? These are signs of. A boy okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up it does help me out a lot when you guys support my videos if you want any details about this hair i'm not sure if it's going to be up before or after this video but if it is up before i will make sure that i put it in the cards make sure you are checking the cards up above for you know recent videos that i've done and all that stuff like that make sure you're following me on snapchat and instagram and make sure you'll subscribe to my channel okay you know, on, on Snapchat, you know, I, I be on Snapchat all the time. And if you really want to talk to me and you really want to get in communication with me, you know, just, you know, um, add my Snapchat because I talk to pretty much everybody on Snapchat, you know. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.